Hi, I'm Luca and you're watching the series about the making of Bag. In this video we're going to cover day 2 of shooting, so if you haven't yet seen the film, go watch it right now, because I'm about to spoil everything. Thinking back on it, day 2 must have been the most stressful, exhausting and hectic day of all of them. And that's because day 2 meant shooting at school, shooting the hallway scene and that meant having 40 extras. 40 adrenaline filled teenagers who were eager to do the job. And thankfully we got enough to make it seem like the school was chock full of people. So I asked these 40 people to come on a Friday and they would be there from 8 till 12. And of course, when there's so many things that have to go together, things go wrong. So here's what happened. It all started with me and John trying to figure out how to do the big dolly shot down the hallway. And what he initially had in mind in terms of gear turned out not to work out because the tiles on the floor had little notches between them and the dolly would shake a lot whenever it went over those notches. We spent about an hour trying to figure out how to do it and in the end I had to tell that he had to go and grab a stabilizer, that was the last resort. Of course driving from the school to the rental house would take about an hour there and back again so that was a really big extra stress for me. So at around 9 o'clock I went to tell the extras what was happening and I pretty much explained them that we were on time, that we were due to start at 9 but we're gonna start at 9.30 and I walk them through what it actually means to be an extra. So me and my great assistant director Akim did a little bit of silent film comedy in order to illustrate to them that they don't have to talk, they just have to move their mouths around and act like they're talking. And that was because the dialogue between Mary and James was the priority. <laughs> <laughs> My great assistant director Akim coordinated the whole movement of the extras for this one and we went into a classroom, in the meantime our equipment also arrived and the guys were setting it up and I pretty much went to the whiteboard and I started drawing a plan of the floor and I started explaining in broad terms how I would like the movement to the extras and to Akim as well and then he organized them into groups and he would send them out accordingly. Initially this scene would have been covered in one single shot and that's the shot with Mary and James exiting and we're following them down the hallway from the front. So initially I had a bit with the amazing Benny and Alice who was carrying a cutout, a big big paper cutout, real size of guess who? Andrew Cooper! And this was also to create a bit of a comedic gag and also have Andrew in the film do a cameo because he wasn't in the country at the time of shooting but we had to cut it out because that scene was way too long unfortunately. This was the scene with the most characters talking. So we had Sebi, the amazing sound recorders on this film, Mike up, Miki, Dodo, Eugen, Maria who plays Janice and as well Benny and Alice whose bit was cut out in the end. It was about 10 o'clock, we were under a bunch of pressure but the gear was together, everything was set up and we started the very first shot of the day. Action and spot the action Alice! This is just incredible. I know, we're going to have to miss the presentation. And of course, besides general timing and staging issues which were expected at this point, 
there were technical issues. That stabilizer, no matter how many takes with it, how many times we tried to tinker with it, would not do it properly. It would pretty much not stabilize anything. It was very janky. The guys tried to fix it. There was some technical issue with it and we had to shoot the shot as it was. And we ended up doing 16 or 17 or I even don't remember how many takes on that shot. And of course the extras were already furious. An hour and a half had passed of us just doing this scene over and over and over again. It was a really complicated shot. I was constantly not happy because many times the stabilizer would go so crazy that I would yank out and like literally lose frame of our main characters. It was very stupid, but we got a few takes which I knew I could sort of edit together to get a final good thing. Then we took the camera off of that hellish stabilizer, put it on a tripod and shot the angle of James's interaction with Eugen's group when he hands him the bag. After this we got a few more shots of doors opening and legs exiting and then before I let most of the extras leave we made sure we recorded some walla sounds and that's pretty much the ambience for which they had to be silent. Here we are at uh, Light Ray Production Vlogs. We're speaking in English and, uh, because we need to have ambiental sounds for uh, post-production. Hello. Sorry, I'm interrupting. Uh, how do you think the shoot went? No? No humble English? Then we set up the scene by the window with Janice and her group. And one of the extras who was in the wide shot with Janice and the group had left. And he had a very particular blue blouse. And I was the only other person who had a blue blouse on. But I couldn't stand in for him. So I switched clothes with someone, put the blouse on him, and that was that. We shot the scene. Nobody noticed. So with that scene in the can, we finished up everything that involved the extras. Then we had to move our video village to another spot because it would be in shot for the next bits that we had to film. And this was a pretty cool shot of Mary running, checking around and then entering the boys bathroom. It looked awesome and then we went finally into the bathroom. Now it was already getting quite late so we actually started shooting in one of the three bathrooms and that's the one which has most of the cubicles in it but that one has no windows so John had to put up some lights to simulate a big big window so we set everything up there I walked Eugen through the scene because he was the priority we only had them on this day of shooting so I blocked the action with him I told him what he had to do and he acted out all of his bits outside of the cubicle it was really good he nailed it I loved it it was amazing good job we thought we would have time to shoot in our custom built cubicle but that was no longer the case. There was no more time for that. We would have to shoot that on another day. So then the only thing that we would actually have time to shoot, considering that we were set up outside of the cubicles, was the very first bit of the actual killing scene. I staged it out with Mickey. She had a lot of input. There were communication issues because we were outside on the monitor and we had to talk through two rounds of doors to get to that bathroom. Ambulanza! But in the end, with some rehearsal, with so much patience from everyone, we got it working, we got our shots, it was all absolutely great. And then we went upstairs to another bathroom where we shot everything that was facing the door. So that pretty much means the whole mop yanking moment. Why another bathroom? Because the door to the bathroom below, where the actual sinks are, opens the other way around. Ambulanza! So because we were running way too late already and I was really stressed out and exhausted, I decided to do a little dance to relieve myself a bit. So because I was sick of being outside and not being able to communicate and also because the door would be blocked off by the mop, I went into the bathroom and I looked at the little monitor on the camera. Georgia was outside pulling focus. I directed Mickey through the scene and I kept telling Mickey that I wanted her reactions to be more dramatic because she was in a wide shot and I really wanted to see her face as the sprinkler goes off. I really wanted to see how terrified she is. And after getting the little insert of how she tapes the mop, that was it, that was done. That was a wrap. Cut! 
Bravo. E... Da? Da. Bravo! But that was it, that was day two. It was 10 p.m. We were all very, very tired and we had to be back for day three in the same place tomorrow at six, which didn't happen, at least for me, because I woke up and I was very sick. But I'm gonna leave that for the next video when I'll be covering the rest of the shooting days that took place at school. So that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for the next video. And until then, well, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Bye.